What is going on, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Lex Express checking in with some more news on that Xbox Call of Duty Blizzard Activision deal that went down just a couple weeks ago when we found out COD was going to get bought out by Xbox, aka Microsoft. People were going nuts, and I said to everyone, Hold your horses, wait a second, don't get carried away. They will not take away Call of Duty from PlayStation. There's just too much money at stake. There's just too many players that play it. People were calling me crazy. I was getting bashed on stream. Some people were commenting saying that I was wrong. Even my boy Brian was saying, well, what about Bethesda? And I was, and I was like, bro, call it. It just doesn't make, there's no logical explanation as to why they will take it out. Can it still happen? Yes, obviously, they own it. At any point in time, they could change their mind. But they continuously keep saying they won't take it out. And today, Wednesday, February 9th, we get a brand spanking new article doubling down on the idea of COD staying on PlayStation going forward. So, just in case you guys want to read it for yourself, we will be putting this in the description box. The link for it is windowscentral.com. All right. Microsoft Call of Duty will come to PlayStation after Activision Blizzard deal closes. Microsoft is beginning to speak regulator, regulator approval to, a, to close the deal to acquire Activision. Jesus, I look like I can't read right now. Sorry. All right, so here's the quote that I wanted to read to all of you guys. This is why I made this video. To be clear, Microsoft will continue to make Call of Duty and other popular Activision Blizzard titles available on PlayStation through the term of any existing agreement with Activision. So whatever deals in place is going to stay in place and they will still reveal, uh, release these products on the, you know, on the platform. Microsoft president Brad Smith says... And, and, this is the key point here, and we have committed to Sony that we will also make them available on PlayStation beyond, beyond the existing agreement and into the future so that Sony fans can continue to enjoy the games they love. We are also interested in taking a similar, taking similar steps to support Nintendo's successful platform. So not only are they doubling down on the PlayStation idea, but they're bringing in Nintendo into the fold. Guys, I tried telling, I tried, I, I really tried talking to you guys about this. And I wanted to, you know, go back and forth to see what you guys had to say. And instead, I was getting ripped up. I was getting ripped up. I'm not going to lie. I took a little beating. So I brought in my boy Trout. Trout, you've been in our videos before. You've been in our streams. You've heard this conversation. Did I not say this? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it should have been obvious that they would have lost a lot of money if they would have kept it just solely on Xbox. Way too much money, bro. Call of Duty represents way too much money to Activision. Well, why would they buy Activision Blizzard for $69 billion. <laughs> Guys, Activision Blizzard doesn't just own Call of Duty. They also own World of Warcraft. And uh, what's that? Uh, there's a game called uh, StarCraft, I think, maybe. Um, yeah, and, uh, Overwatch. Overwatch, Candy uh, Crush. Diablo. Diablo, uh, freaking Tony Hawk. There's just, the list goes on. They're, they're thinking about bringing back Guitar Hero now. This is not Spyro just too. Spyro as well. Yes, they, like this is not just a Call of Duty deal. Everybody was making it seem like they bought Activision just for Call of Duty. Call of Duty is great because it represents tons of money for them. And Microsoft is just basically securing the bag. Even if the Xbox consoles fail or console gaming dies out, they will forever have a big piece of in gaming going forward this is a big deal well why would they spend so much money to not make cod exclusive guys it's gonna be on game pass you know how much money they would have had to have paid to have some of the older cod titles or even the latest newest cod titles on game pass now day one call of duty will be on game pass call of duty will definitely be on game pass 
And for the PlayStation fans that like to get the exclusive content early, which I don't, I don't even keep track of that anymore. I don't even think that matters anymore. But for the PlayStation fan that does care about that, the agreement is still in place. So you guys are good. And even afterwards, you guys will still be able to play COD, man. And the fact that they're even trying to bring it to the Nintendo Switch is, is amazing. Music to my ears. <laughs> I own the Nintendo Switch as well. I would like to see how <laughs> Call of Duty looks on, on the Nintendo Switch. That'll be crazy to have that with some cross-platform. Imagine, that'll, ma that'll really, really push gaming to the next level. Because Call of Duty is, I would say, probably the number one shooter, first-person shooter in the world still. So, you know, I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. And this is <laughs> this video here is kind of like a little parade for me, guys. I'm sorry. If you if you want to get mad at me, get mad at me. But it's just, come on, man. There was no logical explanation as to why they should make this exclusive. Now, should they add this on Game Pass? Of course. Of course. Of course. And I'll be there to enjoy it. So we'll try it, right? <laughs> yes, sir. No longer are the days that we'll say, should we buy COD this year? I don't really want to <laughs> buy COD for no 60 bucks. So we'll be playing COD. You got to do that no more. No more, no more. We're going to be playing COD day one on Game Pass. So, guys, um, sound off in the ca comment section. Let us know. Join our Discord, man. Our link is in the description box. We have an awesome community growing there. Let's continue this conversation in the chat section. Let me know what you guys think about this deal. Do you think Guitar Hero is coming back? I'll see y'all real soon. Thank you for tuning in, Trout. Thank you for being here. Yes, sir. Let's go. Peace.